Hey everyone, this is a demo of the new test integrated module publishing workflow in Terraform Cloud. So starting here with an existing module in the private registry, first I need to switch it from tag-based publishing to the new branch-based publishing method. We did that here from the manage module settings. We simply switch it to branch-based and enter the branch that we're going to be monitoring. Now that we've done that, we can configure testing. From the configure test page, we enable or disable automated testing. And this is where we also specify the environment variables that are needed for our test runs like provider credentials. So let's take a look at the actual tests for this module. I'm not gonna go through everything in this test file in this video, but it's using a variety of techniques that we talk about in more depth in the docs and the tutorial, as well as our last video up here on YouTube. As you can see, we're doing a combination of unit testing and integration testing. Now we'll run Terraform test, but instead of running it locally, we'll add the cloud run option along with the registry source address of this module. This will cause the test to execute in Terraform cloud instead of on my laptop. Back here in the registry, we can see an indication that we have tests currently running. And it looks like we have a failure. Having that information right here on the module details page is a great indicator that we have something to dig into before we publish a new version. Let's go in and view the test results. Here on this view, we'll see the list of all our test runs. And if we go into one of these, we'll see the exact failure that happened. In this case, it looks like one of my input validations didn't fail like it was supposed to. Uh, but we did have some passes here. You can see all the details of all my test files and each run within them. Notice because we started this from the CLI, we also get the output here in the terminal. Let's fix the problem in the code. In this case, it was just a missing character in my regular expression of my input validation. This time, let's use the VCS workflow to rerun the tests. I'm going to commit this change. Push it into GitHub. And I'll open a pull request against the main branch, which is the one that the registry is monitoring. With our pull request open, you see a new batch of tests has automatically been queued thanks to the VCS integration. Okay, great. Now our test run against this PR branch has finished, and this time everything passed, as expected. Now that we're confident our module's working, it's time to publish it. I'm going to merge this pull request into the main branch. That'll kick off one more round of tests against the main branch. And with everything looking good, we simply go back to the module page, click Publish New Version, select that commit we just made, and give it a new version number. And now our new version is ready for use. So you can see that with the Terraform test framework, which we introduced in Terraform 1.6, now integrated into the module publishing workflow in Terraform Cloud, you can be sure that your modules are well tested before you publish them. We also have our new branch-based module publishing workflow that you saw, which gives you more control and more flexibility over how modules are published. And let's take a look at just one more thing. We've also introduced a beta feature for plus tier customers to generate tests for modules in your private registry. With the click of a button, you can generate a test suite that is customized to your module, like this console cluster module I have here. Depending on the size and complexity of your module, this could take some time to generate, but you can close this window and come back to it later. And just like that, we've generated three test files, each with multiple test runs. We can copy each one out or download a zip file containing all three. We're really excited about this capability and we're eager to hear your feedback. To learn more about Terraform Cloud, go to developer.hashicorp.com to read documentation and tutorials, and head on over to hashicorp.com slash cloud to get started. Thanks for watching.